This is a Saber Forge Avenger lightsaber. It's a custom saber that's inspired by the design of the Obi-Wan Kenobi lightsaber from the prequels, so from episode one, episode two. And I did previously review a different Avenger hilt, so kind of an earlier version that had a more of a standard finish to it, whereas this one has a chromed finish. And a disclaimer before we get deeper into this review, um, I got this hilt as a mystery box saver, and so it's possible that some of the details about the hilt and such are maybe a little bit different than if you just kind of purchase the named off the shelf uh, version of the Avenger. So with that in mind, let's take a closer look. <laughs> so this hilt measures 11 inches long, you know, pretty nice kind of standard size for a hilt. And it has a standard one inch diameter blade socket as well. A Little bit of that flare on top. Now, one of the neat things about these Obi-Wan Kenobi style hilts is they have kind of a lot of depth and layering to them. So a lot of the chrome sections are, are shrouds kind of over, you know, the, the core of the saber hilt. So at the top, you can see the, the black section here with, with these chromed sections over the top of it. And then there's grooves in this section also. Got the blade retention screw here in the in the black section. There's additional button head screws around below that. I guess you could add little dome thingies to it, um, you know, to kind of cover them up, make it look a little little cooler. Um, yeah, of course we've got the red thumb screw greebly, which you always got to look for that with some of these prequel hilts. So that's really cool. It's got this kind of metallic red look to it, and then it has some uh, a knurled edge to it. And then there's a brass greebly as well, and you can see that it's all all brass. It has a knurled edge as well, and it it doesn't have the little jewel in it as as some of the Kenobi style hilts do. Now over here you see there's a series of switch holes or you know recharge port holes here. So there's uh, three on this particular hilt anyway. Now we get to the grip section and you can see there's there's actually three different layers going on. So we kind of have this base layer at the bottom that is chromed and then on top of that there's this black section and it creates this sort of I don't know, zebra effect almost. And then on top of that, we have um, an additional shroud. So that's really cool. It's not like super deep grooves here. You can kind of see that. But it's, you know, very cool layering. There's the cover tech wheel on the rear of the hilt. It's black on this one, which complements the various black elements throughout the hilt. Now we've got this, I, I call it a, a doorknob style pommel. <laughs> uh, you can see there's these little kind of circle, um, circular uh, kind of cutouts in the pommel cubes and they don't go all the way through. So you can see on that end, they're just on the top end and they're not on the bottom. And then there's the sound venting on the bottom, of course. Now the pommel is removable and it also is ASP compatible. So, oh, the pommel's flying away. <laughs> if you wanted to swap this out with a different pommel for some reason, you could. So ASP is the Adaptive Saber Parts um, system developed by Saber Forge. A lot of their hilts, well, I don't know if I'd say a lot. Some of their hilts are ASP compatible, including this one. I think most of the Elite Sabers are ASP compatible. So there it is, you guys. Now, one of the things about these chrome finish hilts, just any of them really, is you do see more fingerprints on them, but you can just have like a micro fleece and kind of wipe those off pretty easily. But, um, you know, it's pretty reflective, pretty bright and vibrant as well. So I know that's, that's a reason people like the chrome finish too. It's kind of fancy, you know, like a hot rod type of thing. Now, one of the things I do like about this hilt is from this perspective, 
it, it's just very seamless. So we have the switch holes on this side, but from this angle, which is the angle that would face out if you were wearing the hilt, um, it just, you know, very clean. You don't see any of the switches or anything like that. I mean, you have these greeblies there, but my point is you don't have the switch holes in that direction. So that's kind of neat. At any rate, this has been a look at the Saber Forge Avenger lightsaber. It's a custom Obi-Wan Kenobi style lightsaber hilt.